والقرآن الحكيم إنك لمن المرسلين على صراط مستقيم تنزيل العزيز الرحيم السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته Welcome back dear brothers and sisters to all those new brothers and sisters who are joining I welcome you all Alhamdulillah Jazakallah khair for joining and may Allah help us to learn the language of Quran and try and understand his message in its true sense So going forward inshallah today we are in our class number 35 and we are doing uh, lesson number 14 Ad-Dars Rabia Ashara from Madina book 1 So before we go, as usual, we're going to practice our pronouns. Huwa, huma, hum, hiya, huma, hunna, anta, antuma, antum, anti, antuma, antunna, ana, nahnu. Just to remind you, these are Damir, Munfasil. And these are the marfu form of pronouns. Whenever you see these type of pronouns, huwa, huma, that means these are always marfu. And they come in Jumlat al-Ismiya as a mubtada. And when these forms of pronouns are attached to a verb, and they will be fa'il. So these are things which you need to remember about these pronouns, these forms of pronouns. Huwa huma hum, hiya huma hunna, anta antuma antum, anti antuma antunna. So we got damir muttasil. And we got a, a different forms of pronouns, a different uh, <coughs> way of writing. And it is called damir muttasil, means which is attached. So they can be attached to different words so we're going to see in a minute so what do we have for hua it becomes hu huma remains huma hum remains hum hia becomes ha and huma remains huma hunna remains hun hunna and from anta it becomes to ka anta becomes ka antuma becomes kuma antum becomes kum anti becomes ki antuma becomes kuma antunna becomes kunna ana becomes ya nahnu becomes na so these are all always attached they are attached to some word so what are the words they can be attached to what we have seen before is they can be attached to a mudaf where it becomes mudaf ilayhi they can be attached the dhameer muttasil can be attached to a harf jar it can and then it will be ism majroor and it can be attached attached to a zarf and it will be a mudaf ilayhi so these dhameer muttasil what we have done before is a majroor form there is another place where these damir muttasil and go and attach themselves what is that it is called it is a fa'al they can attach to a fa'al as well and when they get attached to a fa'al what they become is they become maf'oolun bihi maf'oolun bihi and it is mansub so it's not majroor it is a mansub form so we have to remember this and this fa'il and maf'oolun bihi is a relationship what does it mean which means between these two no other word can come in between so they're always attached to each other so if anything has to describe the word and anything attached describing or related to the word which is here like if to about file about a fa'il or about mudaf then it has to come after these Damir Muttasil. So that is why it is important to recognize so the relationships and what the comes after it. So which we're going to learn today, inshallah. So this is the conversation between a group of young boys. Al Fityatu. Fityatu is a plural of Fatan. Fatan means young boy. In Al Fityatu is the plural of young boys. The young boys are saying Assalamu alaikum. And who are they telling to? They are telling to Hamid. And Hamid is replying, Wa alaykum as salam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu. Let's analyze this one. So, ala is harfjar and kum is ism majroor. So, we know harfjar ism majroor is khabar muqaddam. And mubtada muakhar, normally we know it is indefinite. But here we say, as salamu, it is definite. It becomes definite to give more emphasis. So, this is like a picturesque way of telling. That upon you is the peace. So it's giving a very uh, intense meaning, you can say. So, wa alaykum as-salam. 
and wow is ataf and rahmatu is mawtufun ala and it is mudaf rahmatu allah is mudaf ilayhi and wow is ataf again and barakatu is mudaf and who is mudaf ilayhi so alaykum assalam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu so ahdul fityati means one of the young boys so ahdu is mudaf al fityati is mudaf ilayhi so one of them he is telling kayfa haluka so we see ya ummi ya ammi means here it is addressing to the uncle so it becomes haluka kayfa haluka ya ammi ammu is mudaf and because of ya mutakallim it becomes ammi and ya mutakallim is mudaf ilayhi so how are you ya o our my uncle so ham is selling ana bi khair so whenever you, so anybody ask you kayfa haluka kayfa haluka means ana bi khair b is harf char and khair is is a majroor and always we have to follow it with walhamdulillah ana bi khair walhamdulillah so there are two sentences here ana mubtada bi khair jar majroor shibh jumla khabar wow ataf and alhamdulillah is again mubtada lillah is jar majroor shibh jumla khabar so kayfa halukum asking them again and ask him man antum who are you then here ahadu hum say so, one of them so hum represents to al fityatu ahadu hum nahnu we are abnaul daktooril musa so nahnu is mubtada damir munfasil abnau so, is plural for ibn is sons so we are sons of who it is doctor mudaf ilayhi so what is musa doing here this musa is describing doctor this doctor so this becomes a badal so if you see here if you say nahnu abna u musa it makes sense if you say nahnu abna u doctor it makes sense so doctor and musa they are both interchangeable so when you have interchangeable nouns so the noun which comes after is called a badal and the noun which comes before it's called mubdal minhu the one which has been replaced mubdal minhu like nat manud so you have badal and mubdal minhu so hamid selling ahlan wa sahlan wa marhaban so these words three words basically it means welcome but there is a lot of description so these are all if you see here they are mansub and there is a lot of description each word is a sentence which we will be learning in book 3 inshallah so at the moment we just remember that ahlan wa sahlan wa marhaban means welcome abukum sadiqi abu is mudaf how do we know is marfu because of wow is sign because it's from asmaul khamsa and kum is mudaf ilayhi abukum your father is sadiqi is my friend sadiqu is mudaf and ya mutakallim is mudaf ilayhi ammukum is telling ammukum ash shaykh isa your uncle is your uncle shaykh isa they are asking he is asking so ash shaykh is mubtada muakhkhar is because it's coming with al to just more emphasis your uncle is the sheikh and isa is badal because it's interchangeable your uncle isa or your uncle sheikh so they say uh, one of them he says he is ill huwa maridun the sheikh isa is marid if you see here so this nouns it is ending with the alif maksura so it doesn't take a normal vowel sign so badal it will always follow what is it uh, replaces a sheikh is having dhamma so literally this noun should also have dhamma but because it is alif maksura it is a sound it does it's not a word as such in literal sense it doesn't carry any vowel sign so one of them is telling huwa maridun huwa mubtada maridun is khabar mufrad huwa al an and he is at the moment al an is zarf 
ظرف زمان مینس ٹیلی بٹ ٹائم ناؤ فی المستشفیٰ سو اف یو سی ہیئر اگین دس ناؤن از اینڈنگ ود الف مقصور اٹ ڈزنٹ ٹھیک اے وول سائن بیکاز اٹس اے ساؤنڈ سو فی المستشفیٰ سو بٹ اٹ از اے اسم مجرور سو ہاں مد اسٹیلنگ او شفاہ اللہ سو وی نیڈ ٹو انالائز دس سینٹینس شفاہ اللہ شفا دس از اے جملۃ الفعلیہ ہاؤ ڈو وی نیڈ جملۃ الفعلیہ دس از ٹو ورس شفا از اے ورب وچ مینس ہی ہیلڈ سو وچ اینڈس ود الف مقصور اگین ہیئر فی سی ہیئر سو وی گوئنگ ٹو لرن اباؤٹ دا ورڈس اینڈ آل دا ناؤنس اباؤٹ الف مقصور ان ڈیٹیل اگین But just to give a brief understanding of how this word is constructed. So, Shafa is ending with Alif Maksura. But when you add a Damir Muttasil, see who is a Damir Muttasil. So, this is a Maf'oolun Bihi. This is not a file. So, we need to know if a verb is on its own and nothing is attached, the file is not attached, we need to look for the file. So, where are we looking for the file? Here. It is Allahu, Shafahu Allahu. This is how we say. So Allahu is Dhamma, the word Allah, and that is the file. And when the word with Alif Maksura, you have a, a attached pronoun or Dhamir Muttasil, then you write it as Shafahu. See, this Alif Maksura turns into Alif, a normal Alif, and a Dhamir is written. So and then we have Allahu. So Allah is the fa'il. So we have fa'il which is shafa. And fa'il is Allah. Allah heel. And who is mafoolun bihi? Him. So this becomes a dua. When we use in this form it becomes may Allah heal him. May Allah cure him. Shafaahullah. So another jumlat al-fa'ila we use in our daily life is jaza. Jaza is ending with alif maksura and when you attach a pronoun like for anta normally we say in front of us some if anybody is doing us a favor we say so ka so we say jazaka so may allah reward you and allahu is the fa'il so jazakallahu so this when the mir is attached this alif maksura turns into normal alif so this is how It is constructed. So, شفاہ اللہ is a jumlat al-fa'liya. So, fa'il, fa'il and mafoolun bihi. That's what we look for. So, Hamid is asking, من هذه التفلت من هذه التفلت Who is this? Tifl is means young child. So, tiflah means girl child. So, من هذه التفلت اللتی اللتی is اسم موصولہ لل معنس اینڈ معاقم سلۃ الموصول ہو از دس ینگ گرل چائلڈ وتھ یو دیٹ از وتھ یو اینڈ ون آف دیم احد ہم ہس از ہی یا اختنا شی از اور سسٹر اختو از مداف اینڈ نا از مداف علیہ سو حامد از آسکنگ مسموہا مسموہا سی حمزت الوصل سو یو ڈونٹ پروناؤنس اٹ مسموہا When a word comes and ah, ah, the one of them it says ismuha. So when it is on its own, when it's standing, starting a sentence from the sulwasal, you produce the sound ismuha layla. So now with alif maksura again, ismuha layla. Aina bayi tu kumul jadidu. Where is? So this is we need to understand here why the sign, the case endings are so important. So whether it can change the meaning of a sentence. So if you see in this sentence, we say Aina means where. So it's Adatul Istafam. So you are interrogative part, uh, particle. So we leave it apart. So Baitu. Baitu is Mudaf. And Kum is Mudaf ilahi. Your house. But what is Al Jadidu here? Al Jadidu is actually, if you see, it's coming with Dhamma. And what do we have Dhamma in this compound here? It is Baitu. So this Al Jadidu is representing the Baitu. Because this compound Mudaf Mudaf Ilahi is a inseparable separable relationship. You cannot separate them. So they always written together. But anything which is describing a Mudaf has to come after Mudaf Ilahi. So here Al Jadidu is actually it is a Naat which is describing the house. New house. If you want to say 
just the new house will say al baitu al jadidu if you want to say your house you say baitukum how do you want to say your new house you say baitukumul jadidu so al jadidu is naat for baitu let's do some more examples so give you more better understanding so if you say baitul imami the house of imam but here if you see al jadidu what is this al jadidu if you see damma damma is describing the house if it, this was a kasra the whole sentence would change if you say baitul imamil jadidi house of new imam but here we have al jadidu so we say how do we translate when we translate we say the new house of imam so naat man'ud is described first and then mudaf ilayhi so this is how you it's important to understand the vowel sign and to write and to understand so same thing here maktabul waladil maksuru maktabu means desk the desk of boy but here we have al maksuru so we how we do we translate we translate the broken maksuru means broken the broken desk of the boy this thing and nafidatul ghurfati so the window of the room but maftuhun the open window of the room so this is how it is written so mudaf mudaf ilayhi cannot be separated anything describing mudaf has to come after mudaf ilayhi and we need to see the vowel sign wait what is it describing whether it is describing mudaf or whether it is describing mudaf ilayhi depending on the sign so it's very important to understand the case endings so just a sentence like hadhihi sayyaratul mudiri al qadimatu see al qadimatu means it's describing the car so old car of mudir this is the old car of the head teacher so one of them is telling so baitun al jadid our new house al jadid is describing the baitu qareebu min min al matar qareeb means near qareeb always comes with min and baid which is min far always comes with an so qareeb min al matar matar means airport so our house our new house is near from airport hamid is asking again antum fil madrasatil sanawiyati sanawiyah is secondary come from ithnan sanawiyah so are you in secondary school this is a nath for al madrasa al madrasatu as sanawiyatu so one of them ahaduhum he is telling la so when a question is starting with a then you always answer with naam or la So it's like na la, nahnu bil jamia. So we are in university. Ana, I am. So we have to, all sentences. Jumla tul ismiya coming here. I am fi kulliya. Kulliya means department or faculty. So I am in faculty of handasa engineering. I am in faculty of engineering. Wow, ataf Muhammadun Mahmudun. Sorry, we see different nouns. Mahmudun is a, a trip tot. It can take fatha damma kasra. So, fi kulliyati tib in faculty of medicine. Wa Ibrahimu. So, if you see here, it is a dip tot. It only takes fatha and damma. Wa Ibrahimu fi kulliyati shariya. So, he is in Sharia, Sharia, Department of Sharia. And wa Yusufu and Yusuf is in fi kulliyati. tijara is in commerce department of commerce so hum is asking man zalik al fata who is that young boy and he is describing so allah ji is describing the fata so it is ism mausul and we need to have a silatul mausul man zalik al fata alladhi fi sayyaratikum so he said sayyarati is mudaf and kum mudaf ilayhi who is that young boy the one who is in your car huwa zamili Mahmud is telling who are Zamili. Zamilu is khabar and wawa mudaf and ya mutakallim mudaf ilayhi. So Hamid is asking min aina huwa where is he from? So Mahmud is replying. So if you see these names here Hamid, Mahmud. See all the root words are same. Ha, Mim, Dal is Hamida, Mahmud. So these are all different constructions which we are going to learn inshallah. So just to remind you. So Hamidun. He's asking, "Min aina huwa?" Mahmud is saying, "Huwa min Inkaltarra." He is from England. So Hamid is asking, "Masmuhu?" 
what is his name so mahmud is telling ismuhu william his name is william so if you see here wandamma because it is a non arab name is a foreign name william so it will have a, it is a diptote so william diptote means mamnu minas sarf so it does not take kasra so i'm saying a muslim huwa is he a muslim so see again the question is starting with a so we expect a naam or la he saying la no huwa nasrani he is christian abuhu so abu is a small khamsa so alamatu raf'u is wal wa'u and that is mudaf and who is mudaf ilayhi his father is ustazi my teacher so again ustazu is khabar and wa huwa mudaf ya mutakallim mudaf ilayhi ismuhu his name is ad-duktur edward see again one damma diptot selling his name is dr edward so what is edward here it is badal for doctor so his name is edward or his name is doctor so these are interchangeable so that's why it is edward is badal so azhabtum ila al-mustashfa li ziyarati ammikum al-yawm so remember ammi is ill he is in mustashfa so he, the hamid is asking did you go a is a harfu istifham so keep it separate zahabtum so what is zahabtum zahab is a jumlat al-fa'l yeah he is a fa'l only zahab is fa'l and where are we looking for file file is attached it is tum so tum means in front of you antum so azhabtum did you go so zahaba always comes with ila so we say azhabtum ila al-mustashfa did you go to mustashfa hospital and why li li is harf jar remember li means belongs to or for so here it means for for ziyarati means for visiting to visit ammikum to ziyarati ammi ziyarati is uh, ism majrur wa huwa mudaf ammi is mudaf ilayhi again wa huwa mudaf kum is final mudaf ilayhi so li li ziyarati for visit of your uncle alyom today so yusuf is telling naam zahabna see this is the the whole sentence yes we went zahab is the fa'il na is fa'il which represent nahnu we went zahabna so this is our conversation between hamid and the boys so try and write these sentences and uh, look at what we have discussed and inshallah we will continue in our next session assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh